I have a little bit of bait left over. So I figured I'd give my local creek here a try to see if I could pull a flathead out of it instead of like a snapping turtle or a soft shell turtle. I've heard of people catching flatheads here, but I don't know how this is going to work tonight. We're in the middle of a small drought and the water is not flowing at all. In fact, I haven't seen it this low in a very long time. And I have a snag right in front of me and there's leaves on top of the water where the wood is. So I can't cast near that unless I really want to get snagged up really bad. I'm probably going to get snagged up here anyway. But I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. I've got one fresh skipjack to try this with. One fresh skipjack. I cut the gut pocket off so I can have a smaller piece. This is going to be really interesting. Hopefully I can catch something. I think you got turtles picking on it. It could be bullheads too. I know there's bullheads in this water. Or even channel catfish. I think if it was a bullhead though, it would have pulled it a lot more than it has. See? Something picking at it. Bend, bend. Got it. Whatever it is.
Big old snapping turtle. I'm gonna try to land this guy if I can get to my net. I have a feeling there's only turtles here, so I, I might name this video Fishing for Turtles. This is a big one. I'm going to try to de hook them before I show them to you guys. I came prepared tonight. I'm going to be able to get it out. Whoa! Yeah, he is, uh, he's angry. Come on. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big one. Aw. Swallowed the hook. Not getting it out of his mouth. Look at the size of the snapping turtle. He's just under half the size of the monster rod holder's net. This is the HD 80. That's a huge, huge snapping turtle. Open your mouth. Look at that. Let's see if I can get him out of this net. This is going to be fun. He's got a hold of the net. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, the water's not this way. No. Water's the other way. Man, huge. <laughs> he doesn't know where the water is. I don't want to taunt him too much. I want him to get back to the water. Yeah, turn around. There he goes. That was a big turtle. I'm going to get this re-rigged real quick and I'm going to put the skipjack head out. I think it's a little bit harder to catch a turtle on a skipjack head. So maybe a big flathead will swim by. So I forgot to bring leader line and I forgot to bring any pre-snelled hooks. So I had to use the main line as a leader on this. It should be fine. I don't think catfish are too scared of the color of the line you're using. 
This is a bright yellow line that's on this reel. I guess we will see what happens. Skipjack head. Another turtle. I think if it was a flathead, it would grab it and kind of swim around. It would slowly bend the rod down. These turtles are grabbing it and just biting pieces off of it until it can fit it in its mouth. I'll ask you guys a question. Leave a comment below. What do you think? Do you think a flathead would come to a bait when there's a giant snapping turtle like the one I just caught earlier eating on it? Or would that giant snapping turtle scare away the fish? I've kind of wondered if they would actually eat a bait that's being eat on by a turtle. I know I was scared of that big turtle. I'm sure a flathead would be scared of it too. He would have easily bit off one of my fingers. And it's definitely not what I want to catch. I do think snapping turtles are cool even though they are huge bait stealers. And they are very difficult to work with. I'm going to reel this up and recast it. <laughs> and maybe not. I'm going to have to put bait on it now. It stole my bait. Once again, I've cut the gut pocket off. Would be nice to get a fish tonight. Here we go again. Another turtle. I'm thinking this is another night of turtles. Got him. Maybe. Or I might have a snag. Ah, snagged up.
He's still on there. There we go. Well, he popped off. There's plenty of snags in this creek. Alright, this is my last piece of skipjack. It's part of the tail section. I've heard people say that the tail section of the skipjack is flathead candy. Maybe one will drop by. Maybe I'm not catching anything because I got my net ready. By the way, I think it was Dieter Milhorn that told me keeping the net ready is bad luck. You guys might want to head over to Dieter Milhorn's community page and ask him if he thinks having your net ready is bad luck. Here we go again. Oh, <laughs> what was that? Wow, it slacks the line. Did it swim towards it? Old bait. Well, that's that. I don't have any more bait to put in the water at the moment. I caught an absolute giant snapping turtle tonight, which is actually pretty good. That snapping turtle is definitely bigger than your average snapping turtle. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and thank you for watching. Maybe next time I'll have better luck here.